everyone, it's Muriel. I'm here this evening to show you a banner that I made for my craft window. This one says Believe, and I've made two others in the past and I've showed those on videos. One says Create, and the other one says Inspire. So I knew the beginning of the year that I wanted to make a, another banner for my window because my window is quite large. So three um, banners really makes it look full. But I couldn't determine what word I wanted to use and I piddled around with several words and I just came up with believe. I just think that your craft room, especially for me, since I spend a lot of time here, need to have lots of positive affirmations around it when you uh, are in here crafting. So believe is the word I came up with and I'm going to show you uh, some of the products that I used to create it. It started out first with this flower and chipboard pack. This was my inspiration. This was um, purchased for me by a subby. Actually three ladies have purchased for me items from the Prima outlet sale thing that was going on in California a couple of years ago. So um, between the three of them I'm not sure who did but they picked me up two of these flower and chipboard packs. And they're really really nice. They come with like a 100 flowers and 50 chipboard pieces. And they actually picked me up two and I've had these for such a long time that I thought this year that I would uh, need to pull them out and here's the other pack with some beautiful orange and cream colors and purples so I've always wanted to use them and every time I think about making a banner my m what stops me is do I have enough letters and I, I've always had enough letters I've had these packs like I said for at least two years so anyway I love these this color combination of the teal cream tan gray black and white so it started with this However, I did not use the letters that go with it because they kind of were drowned and they were a little too small. So I still have letters and I have plenty of flowers and then I can do something else with this pack. So then I had to determine the paper pad and I've gone through a lot of my paper pads. I'll be doing a de-stash on them. Many of them have been used once or twice and they still have some... Um, you know where they could make a couple more cards but I just don't want them anymore I just have to move my product through so I picked this up out of my uh, paper can and it's by Teresa Collins It's called memories now I did use a lot to make this banner and I probably have used this pad once before on a card so it is going into the D stash pile it's really pretty it it actually coincides with the colors. It has that teal, has that black, that white, that tan, that cream color. So it was actually perfect. So I was happy about that. And then I am using for my banner this pack here. This was at Target Dollar Spot probably two, three years ago. It came out around the time they bring out all the school supplies in the dollar fifty spot. And it's a really cool banner. The uh, each piece is four by five. This happens to be a dry erase banner. That was the purpose for it. And it came with this dry erase um, um, pen. And then, you know, you would erase it with that in. But I never used it for that purpose. All two of my other banners started out with this um, really sturdy chipboard piece. And it comes with these pre-drilled holes, which I used a crop of to make a little bit bigger so that I can fit my eyelets in them. So that's what I'm using. And you can use any, there's so many um, chipboard um, images and shapes out there that you can make your banner with almost anything. Um, the letters that I chose to use, I digged in my alphabet um, drawer and I found these chipboard embellishments. They're from Michaels. Um, it had just the kind of similar colors that I wanted. I didn't want one color, I just wanted a bunch of different colors. So this offered it to me. It's a really sturdy chipboard and has some uh, really cool um, stitching on the um, outside. So really cool, I use that. I always use doilies. This time I found in my stash some larger ones that I used on the banner, but I'll show them to you in the smaller size. I'm not sure where I picked these up from. I ordered them somewhere and they are absolutely adorable. They are intricate doilies. Many of you probably have these in your stash. 
I've been hoarding mine forever, um, but no more. I've used all of the large ones that I had, and I still have these here, and they are really, really beautiful. So um, I used those. And then I think I got this from Tuesday morning. This is a Mamby Chips sticker pack. And it just has a bunch of positive quotes. And that's what I wanted my banner to reflect. Believe, which is a positive thing for us to do. And, it just has, and then it has these positive quotes on it. So I just pulled them from this pack. I also pulled some arrows from this pack. I wanted some... I wanted metal um, arrows and I used two, but I wanted arrows because it shows movement and it shows direction. And, you know, I believe that I have to move with my scrapping different levels and um, I just want to go up, if that makes sense to you. And finally, here are the arrows that I'm talking about. You know, these are at Michael's in the dollar fifty bin. I have a container full of metal embellishments that I don't need anymore and I just want to be sure and reminded to always uh, keep that container out to put a metal embellishment on just about everything I make. And then lastly I'm using tassels. Many or the two banners that I've made before have acrylic pieces hanging from them and I was in my stash and going through a lot of stuff as I do for January and ran across these tassels. So I used the entire bottom row, which has um, had white, brown, black, and gray. So it worked out perfect. So let me just show you the um, banner. I'll start here to kind of get a little close up for you because it's so wide. So here is the uh, first one here, the first letter, which is B. And you can see what I do is I use my um, um, Creatopia. I just put the chipboard piece through the machine. It gets it all sticky and then I put the paper on top and then I use a um, knife to cut around it. So it's really, really easy. So I, um, you can see the doily that I used on this one here is really, really pretty. I use a three inch punch and cut out this circle here with this uh, blue paper from the collection and I'm using two of the flowers I just kind of um, alt crisscross them and I'm also using these what I call tentacles and um, instead of a doily doily um, crochet doily which I've used before I had these tentacles um, in my stash so I used those and then I just used dimension dimensional stickers to put the letters down and you can see that B has the stitching on it's really cute. I am trying to use up lots of these flowers. I also have a flower de stash that I'm going to do. I have one pack of flowers and one Valentine pack of flowers and, and that pack you're going to die when you see it. So I'll be showing that too. And here I'm using the garment tags that I purchased to hang the tassel on. And then my first arrow right here, the metal one showing direction going up. And then the quote, stay humble. And then for the E, the quote is here and now. And you can see this beautiful doily, um, the tentacles, the flowers. And I also did um, from the sticker sheet, they had a bunch of hearts. So you'll see I have tucked some hearts throughout each um on each uh, banner here and there's a little black and white one there and then this arrows from the sticker sheet as well and then I just alternated the tassels this one here is white okay for the L the quote is be kind beautiful doily again the background arrow showing direction the tentacles and the three flowers white black and brown and these are um, some extra large eyelets that I bought, bought many from Arlene. Arlene had her scrapbook room de-stashed this summer and I bought quite a few. So again, it's something that I want to use and uh, put to use. And when I'm making banners, I always grab for an eyelet. Okay, so the I, the quote is love my life. And again, you can see I cut out a... Um, circle using the paper from the collection. There's this beautiful doily and this arrow is from the sticker sheet. It's purple glitter and then there is the polka dot heart tucked uh, right there. 
And then the other E, the quote is, you are awesome. The arrow, there's a chipboard, uh, like a glittered heart. And um, it's a beautiful orange um, letter E with the double stitching, really pretty. And then the V, the quote is finally. And there is a blue glittered arrow. And again, the tentacles. I only had two of those really long ones. I'm, I'm kind of running low on them, which is good. I like running low on stuff because I, once I finish using these, I have another type of um, cute little tentacle doily to use. And then there is the heart, black, white polka dot, and the brown tassel. And then last, it says, uh, the quote is, the good life. And there's some beautiful paper in the background, the um, kind of tan with the white flowers. There is a golden yellow heart tucked away and the directional, the metal arrow going up. And I'm using just some twine that I've used on all the other two that I get from Michaels. And I um, am trying to use that up as well. So that was is my Believe banner. And again, I really love making them because these banners, um, when you create a banner like this, you, you you typically go through a lot of stuff. Like this banner here, I use papers, I use the chipboard banner, and you can use any chipboard, um, you know, banner that you like. I use flowers, I use doilies, I use crochet doilies, I use uh, chipboard letters, I use embellishments, the stickers or the metal arrows, I use the garment tags, and then I use the twine. I mean, it can just go on and on and on, but it, it gives me a good feeling that I am using the products that I have and going through them and uh, especially the paper pads. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you are inspired to create a banner. Just find that word that means much to you. If you have a window in your craft room, they're a perfect way to hang them over the window or maybe over your sliding door, whether it's the door to the closet or the door to coming into your craft room. Um, it just gives it a nice look and it's something that you created. So you will, you will love it no matter what. So thanks everybody for watching. Have a wonderful evening. Bye now.